Okay, welcome back. I'm sitting here with my co-host Chad Jacket. I mean, again, we're, this is part of the road road trip. Um, this is the professional aspect I mentioned in the opening part of the videos. Um, you know, where we're going to be appearing and speaking with people that normally we can't get a chance to speak to and really get a chance to hear what it is that they feel or that they have a grasp of around quote unquote medical marijuana. I prefer to use the word cannabis. And uh, Chad and I are just here to do a fill-in. People are kind of on break for lunch right now. So Chad, fill us in on kind of you're back home in Ontario. And, yeah. uh, we've done, this is now our third event. Fill yeah. us in. Well, it's our third event and uh, still haven't seen my family yet. I think they're getting anxious to see me. We're getting some text messages. Last night was good. Vape on the lake, good times. Great people there, you know. Um, today there's lots of good, good people here that are uh, very, very intellectual people. A lot of them are very much for, you know, the freedom of the plant is what I'm kind of seeing too, you know. So uh, it's, it's an inter interesting uh, sort of mix of people. Yeah, I, I like it because we get a chance to go from counterculture, which is what we're used to. We feel more, I know we're out of our comfort zone today, but um, when we're in our comfort zone, like last night or uh, some of the other concert that we'll be going, the concert we're going to up in Hamilton, it's going to be a lot more fun. But what did you make of, of hearing like the gentleman I, I kind of did a Q&A a bit with yesterday is talking about CBD strains and, and, and more and more people that we talk to, it seems like CBD just seems to be a little bit more of a government hype than, than uh, yeah. solidified science. Yeah, I totally agree. It seems like they're, uh, they're just, you know, weighing on that one certain cannabinoid and they're not, you know, checking into every other cannabinoid that's out there. Um, how do they know that something else isn't also coinciding with, you know, the, the CBD that's doing this? I mean, if you're just focusing on one thing, you're not going to see everything else going on around you, right? So, so how do you feel? We were, we're learning more and more now. I know you and I stand strong on the, you know, you have a right to grow your own medicine, but also you have a right to, you know, if, if I'm able to produce a medicine, which I know I can, and I've demonstrated for years, um, if I know I can grow a medicine and provide it for another patient that's sick and it's not addictive, it's never killed anybody and it's not toxic and we're out at this conference here that's talking about marijuana for medical purposes but yet there's no medical value to marijuana as we've talked about many times but the more we go around Toronto here, the more we talk about people, even the doctor I just interviewed He's a chemist, but he's still a doctor. There is medical value to mar marijuana, just yes. the government doesn't, doesn't, isn't recognizing it. That's where I'm going to, yeah. 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 So talk a bit about that. I mean, for me, my eyes have been opening up just more and more in the past couple of months, but. Oh, I mean, there's, there's tons of medical value, obviously, right, to, uh, to marijuana, but I think the, the largest thing that people are starting to open their eyes to is the preventative medicine side of, of cannabis. And uh, I think that's a huge, a huge part that people haven't really been, you know, focused on. They have to, they, they think, oh, well, you can only have this plant when you're sick. Well, wait a minute. Why do you have to wait till you get sick? You know, Bingo. it's like, okay, yeah. do, do I have to, you know, I have to wait and, until I get scurvy to, to, you know, take vitamin C? That doesn't make any sense. So, no, I mean, I think people are starting to wake up to the fact that cannabis is a preventative medicine. Yeah. And, that, and that's, that's our new rallying call, like for Cannabis in Canada, for the Growers Association, for all the stuff we're involved in. I believe that uh, selling, uh, not selling, but allowing people to know just this is science, this is fact. Look it up in the National Institutes of Health that cannabinoids are preventative medicine. If you take cannabis, it's preventative. And if people understand that, I think we may not have, we can, we, we can, fat, we can speed up the natural evolution of reversing 70 years of reefer madness or 70 years of lies. And I think that that's part of this. But anyway, let's change it to a more uptone note here. Now you're going to see your family. Yeah. I yeah. know you've been having rough nights sleep. <laughs> even though we've been getting heavily medicated, you're still yeah. you're so excited for your family, and that's awesome. Yeah, I am. I haven't seen them and um, seen my mom in over five years, so it'll be really exciting to see her. Yeah, awesome. And you've been missing Tanya. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tanya, Chad was sick last night. He was homesick, missing you. Just so you know. Don't get me all teary eyed on camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. The, well, this is part of the road trip. People want to know the real lives. This is the real lives. <clears throat> dressed up, whether we're at our culture, no matter what we're doing, what we are doing is educating while we're medicated and proving that it doesn't affect the brain. It, uh, if anything, it's helping us. But most importantly, um, let's just set the record straight so we can have common sense dialogue, sensible policy, where people like Chad and I don't get criminalized for being healers. We're not drug dealers. 
And that's the difference. <clears throat> and those coming in wanting to do it, there's room for everybody. There needs to be a market. I, I just wish Colorado could move to Canada. I really do. I agree, buddy. Yeah. So on that note, we'll see you in the next segue. Cheers. <laughs>